welcome back to Just Blazor Programming. Today we're going to be discussing Blazorize before you download. So it's going to be very quick because I already made a bigger video about all the features that Blazorize comes in. If you feel like watching that, go watch it here, uh, somewhere on the screen. And without further ado, let's go discuss what you need to know before you download, specifically the licensing. So I've, as I have said in other videos in the past, whenever you go download something off GitHub, there's usually a license that goes with it. And I'm glad that someone brought this to my attention. I missed this in my video, so we're going to go over it here. And this is going to be one of the caveats in downloading Blazorize for your project. So that's going to be the license. You see, they have their own proprietary license uh, schema going on. So in this case, it isn't like Mudblazer, where Mudblazer has the MIT license. This is Mudblazer, by the way. Um, so it's basically good to go and you could use it for whatever reasons you want to use it. Essentially in this case, we actually have a commercial license to look at. So, um, the one that I was using was the community free forever one. So I wasn't going to use it to, uh, to make any profit off of it. Essentially, I only use it for a video. So I was good there. However, if you want to use Blazorize or consider Blazorize for your development um, for something in production, you have to look at either the professional or the enterprise. And if you're like big enough and you want something more custom, well, you could probably you have that option too. In this case, you have the choice between your professional $500 a year versus your $900 a year enterprise, as it says here. And the one thing, and there are two values that comes with licenses. The first value is obviously the package itself, because if they've said, you know, it's proprietary and whether or not there are royalty fees, uh, on top of that, that also depends on who these people are. But in this case, they're royalty free with the subscription. So you're good. There is basically just a flat fee of 500 bucks, essentially in this case. And of course, the second thing and the other thing that you would want to pay for is the support. So if you're paying for a license that does not have support, you are not paying for a very good license at all, because that's where a lot of the value comes from, because you want you have something in production that is presumably making you money or is part of your your way of your company making money, and then it breaks and then you can't go for anyone for help. That kind of sucks. But in this case, there is actual support here. And the only real difference here is this 24 hour response time is reduced to 16 hours. And there are priority fixes and features It's hard to measure this. So I can't really vouch for any of this. But I wouldn't, but I would think if there's too many people, they can't really prioritize bugs and fixes and stuff for so many people at once. So I would assume to take this with a grain of salt, but you know, uh, and the other thing that you get from this is some premium, uh, theme stuff. Do you think it's worth paying almost double for that? That's up to you. Uh, what premium themes do we get these? I think blaze stack and blaze spark. So $150 value, $140 value. Okay. Um, that's cool. So that plus the plus the new priority support, that's pretty good. And then has like it listed out in this grid here and then any other information you need. But the, obviously the most important thing from this video to catch is that blazer rise is not free to use. It is free for you to develop on for something that's, you know, a personal hobby or something, but it isn't free for you to use in a commercial way. Unlike mud blazer, let's say. So does that take away from the value or not? Eh, I don't think so. I think that um, if you are going into this thinking, oh, look the, the how much they're charging, you know, that's basically what, 42 bucks more or less a month, I want to say, you know, 500 divided by 12. So that's about how that uh, for this specific one. So yeah, roughly about 42 bucks. I didn't cut that obviously I was double checking, <laughs> but uh, for real though, when it comes to these packages, we have to also compare it now that this is we know is not a free product like Mudblazer. This has to go and be measured against the big boys who also charge around this much, including but not limited to companies such as Telerik or Syncfusion, who are more established libraries on the block that do have Blazor packages themselves that also need to be paid for. Um, in this case, you have the ability to try them. I'm not sure if uh, I think you also have the ability to try like on a trial basis for the other two, but they do charge, uh, I think, more than this. So. At that point, you have to really compare and see whether or not this is worth the price you're paying, uh, both in terms of support and both in terms of the value you're getting. And if you want to try these guys out for this price, that might be pretty good. It is 42 bucks a month for one person and there's no royalties for it. Um, I'm not sure about the other uh, the other packages, though. We might do a uh, I might do a video uh, comparing all these paid packages because they are pretty popular for a reason. They are relatively, you know, they do work and you 
and they have like good support more or less like i know for a fact that i've used telerik before and they had a pretty decent support system they're usually really good at you know solving problems and whatnot when it comes to these guys i'm not really sure but i do know this um to end the video i would just say that uh, i try to avoid showing off you know um for profit packages unless i'm getting some sort of advertisement for it or something paid for it or whatever because you know that's not really good for business for me so going forward i'm gonna try to find alternatives to blazer rice we might be stuck with mud blazer for a while guys so that could be the thing however um if you want to know more information about blazer rise if you're still interested in it i do think it has a lot of good features and i made a whole video about it that you can check out later so this is a very quick video going over something the the most important thing i think that you have to understand before you download this blazer rise and start getting into it and invested in it is the fact that if you ever want to do something commercially you want to make profit you're gonna to have to pay that toll right here so there is that anyways uh quick video good night everybody I'll see you next time.